Okay, so uh, you have just bought a card delivery from uh, me, so I'm going to show you how to actually install it. And for example, I'm going to use a card I have just made for uh, Henry Beaumont. And what you need is a vector 2, and you need the files that I've sent you, and you'll need a folder that goes to uh, your R vector 2 directory that you use the data to player and to settings. Once you've navigated there, then you are ready to go. So uh, I will go to single player and I will pick a standard card here. So uh, notice that I am picking the X30s from the card sim pack. That means I don't own card sim pro. So uh, for uh, some of these things, you will see something slightly different on the screen, but the method is the same. So you pick one of the default ones, important that it's the default one and not one you've installed or gotten from a friend, and you click on Customize. Right, so we have the card here, looks good. We're going to click on the Paint Bucket icon, and then we're going to create a skin folder. This is where we need to install our new one. And our factor will blink. And now you'll see there's a folder called KS X30 2022 and then Card Sim X31. For you, it'll be KSP for Card Sim Pro and then the type of card you're installing on. The skin that you have uh, bought is an X30 skin uh, that will fit on uh, the Cadet and the Bambino and the X30 Pro as far as I know. Uh, I unfortunately don't know more in detail there. And the folder name here is the folder we need to work in. So, that folder is in this settings folder. Now let's see KSX2022, that's there. I open that and we go into this folder. And there is the livery file that you see on here. So we're going to drag the DDS file that has the shortest name into this folder. Then we're going to reload. And we can now change the skin up here. You'll see this is the particular one that we are trying to install. All good then. Now we want to uh, create a separate entry so that when we are in the menu, we can see this card as its own thing. So we click on the plus, enter a driver name. And I'm not going to use the correct name here. I'm just going to illustrate what to do. So we will call him driver name. For team name, oh sorry, for driver name, it's important that you use underscores and not that you uh, use spaces. Uh, that will ensure that this card skin works for uh, online use so that other people can actually see what you're driving. If you have uh, more than two words, that is driver name like this is fine. Driver name 12 is not okay. Then uh, the card just won't work online. So just put driver underscore name for yours, but put your name. For team name, rules are the same. So in this case, I'm going to call it example team one, but you can put whatever you want. Just keep it with underscores. The description is the thing you will see the card listed as in the menu or on the replays uh, of any race you've raced. So you can put here, uh, we will say this is number 16, so I'll call it number 16, example, team, and then the surname of the driver. And the car number, you put whatever number you want. Make sure that it is a number, otherwise it won't create it. So now we create a team car. And our factor will uh, do the thing. Team car created. So now we can go back here. And in the menu, there's now a number 16 example team name, which you will now click on customize for. All good then. Then, to uh, work on this one, we need to hop back to the previous folder. And here you can see the driver name folder that we just created. 
and we're going to take all the files and we're going to drag them in here and replace. Then we're going to go to the paint bucket and we're going to click reload skin. And then to make sure that delivery behaves as designed, we go up here and in black, you scroll across until it says matte paint. And in red, you change it to matte vinyl. And then you simply leave. Okay, now the skin is set up. It will all work with the R factor and you can just click on start racing. And I recommend using Joe's Build Speedway for this because it's the easiest one to load in. Now you can click Drive. And you'll see that delivery and the driver suit and the helmet has all loaded in correctly. And that's it. You're ready to race now. If there are any issues when you play online, the issue probably comes from this file which is uh, called a mass file, which you uh, can open with a tool that you find in the uh, R factor 2 uh, data. And then you can search for simply mass 2. And you can use either of these programs to open it with. I have it assigned, so I can just double click. What you want to see is exactly this. There's a region map, there's a driver, there's a helmet, there's a DTS, and the JSON is what tells the region map how it works. Sometimes you will only see the main DTS and the region, and what you do then is just mark the driver and the helmet and you drag them into the mass file. And then you just click on save. That way you will have a functioning helmet and drive suit for when you uh, use the card online. Because when R52 transfers a skin, it's only this file that it sends. It's basically like a zip file. These other files are your local ones for use. And that should cover everything. Uh, if you have any issues, feel free to contact me, then I will uh, help you out.